import PDFs into TurboCAD version 18. A nice new feature of TurboCAD version 18 is the underlay manager which allows you to effectively import a vector-based PDF file to edit and scale as you will. The feature allows you to bring in a PDF file as a tracing entity. You can then snap to the PDF underneath allowing you to create an accurate drawing on top of the imported underlay. But the best is that you also have the ability to explode the underlay, creating a fully editable TurboCAD drawing with groups and lines. Let's see how this feature works in TurboCAD. To find a suitable PDF as an example, I googled mechanicaldrawing.pdf and came up with this site that makes their mechanical PDF drawings freely available. The drawing I opened contains multiple pages or sheets from which we can choose and name our underlay. Insert the underlay by defining two opposing corners within the TurboCAD drawing. Then press F7 and select Properties to allow you to change the default settings of Fade, Scale and Color to an appropriate setting. If you zoom in and out on the drawing, you may have to hit the Refresh or Regen buttons to force the PDF underlay to recalculate its raster representation. However, if you simply click the Explode button, you get precise vectors that can easily be scaled to the correct size. You can then place them on their own tracing layer and use them in a similar way to the underlay feature. Notice how the PDF is now represented by groups of graphics, which can in turn be exploded to give access to their contained lines. Here we see another PDF example of the mechanical drawings found at it is interesting to note that even when you zoom in on the PDF file, the raster representation of the PDF file shows very thick overlapping lines. Whereas once the PDF is brought into TurboCAD and exploded, we can zoom right into the detail. Here is another example, this time using a PDF of the first floor of the CAD course house plan. Once the underlay is exploded, you can zoom into detail to accurately measure by snapping to the ends of the lines. In this example, I used a PDF file with an Arch D sized paper at a 1 to 32 scale, and when bringing in the underlay, the results came very close to the correct size in TurboCAD. It is then very easy to use the wall tool to quickly snap to the tracing layer and insert doors and windows using the architectural tools in TurboCAD. The default window settings in TurboCAD need to have the glass material assigned to the style manager. In this case we choose mostly clear glass. In the rendered view we can see through the windows into the house. TurboCAD has a host of architectural entities such as doors, walls, slabs, stairs and much more. An important new ability in version 18 is the addition of offset fields in the inspector bar to show the distance to the opposite ends of the wall into which the entity is being placed. This welcome new feature allows you to easily type in required distances to either side while you are inserting the entity or afterwards while using the node edit command. The styles manager allows you to select from a wide range of style types for doors, windows and allows you to create your own custom openings if required. Here we see the model in wireframe and rendered mode and finally we zoom in on the double door that we just inserted. Purchase your copy of TurboCAD from cadcourse.com